Hey guys, good morning. So today we're going to be painting and we're gonna be painting the beach for our activity. So all you need is watercolor paint and watercolor and a brush. I've decided to paint the beach today just because it's my happy place, you know, it's a really scenic, calm, quiet, serene place, which I just love um, to spend my time there. So that's what I'll be painting. If you guys would like to follow along, continue to see the rest of the video. All right, guys, so before I paint, I usually sketch out just a rough sketch just so I know where everything is going. So you're just gonna take your canvas and about uh, a little more than halfway down, about right here, you're gonna just draw a line all the way straight through, and that's gonna be our water. So I'm just gonna do that for you. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but you don't wanna do it too dark because it's watercolor, it's not acrylic. So um, it could try to come through your paint. So yeah. Can't even see. Terrible pen, terrible, terrible, terrible. Let's use a color pencil. Much better. Ah. All right, so your line should look a little bit like, oh, it's a little bright. A little bit like this, just about halfway down your canvas. And remember, do it light because again, watercolor paper, um, sorry, watercolor paint is very thin. So once you have that line drawn in, you can also go ahead and just do um, kind of like a twisted line. And I'll just show you what, what I mean by that because I'm a little better at actually showing than speaking. Let me adjust the light for you guys. You're just going to do kind of like a V shape under your line with your colored pencil. And that this is all gonna be the shore coming in. And this whole body, body is basically your water. So I don't know how well you guys can see that. But again, just a thin line and then a V shape. Just going down right under the line. The next step after that is just making our clouds, which will be above our line. And that's gonna look something like this. I'll show you guys a close up after. I realize the lighting is a bit overwhelming, but I promise it'll all come together, guys. So I'm kind of just doing small um, semicircles with my colored pencil and just basically making little cloud shapes. And I'll show you what that looks like if this will ever focus. It looks something like this. So you have a little bit of an outline of a cloud going around. You have your water line and your shoreline. And that's all we need for now. And now we can start painting. All right, okay guys, now we're gonna start with our paint. You'll be able to see my lines a lot better. So don't worry, I know it's a little faint right now. But you're just gonna take your um, blue and you're just gonna go along the line that we created for the water, like so, and make sure it's kind of a straight line because it's where your water is beginning. And then you're gonna wet your brush a little bit because that was just the, the start of the water, so it's gonna be a little bit darker, but for the rest of, of the water, it can be a little lighter. I see this is a pretty dark blue, but I'm not upset about it. And just keep adding water and wetting your brush so the color doesn't come out too pigmented. And yeah, just fill in this whole little V shape that we made. Light strokes with watercolor always does the best for me. Oh, it's dripping, look at that. I caught it. But yeah, this is really soothing. I, I honestly really love the beach, guys. It, it gives me great vibes, great energy. So I just wanted to share that with you, you know? If you guys want to paint something else or if you guys have a, a different place that you guys like going to, feel free to. But yeah, I kind of mixed the green with the blue a little bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna like it. You know, it's not bad. I won't complain, but it's not my favorite. 
I think I'll just stick with glue. And as it goes down, it should be getting progressively lighter. Um, so when you get down to the shoreline, it should be almost translucent because you know how um, when it breaks waves down by the sand, it's kind of just like a clear wave. Oh, I don't mind the blue or the green. They sit well together. Okay. But yeah, we're doing a really simple painting today, guys. Just want to do something nice and simple for you. But also fun, you know. And I'm coming down towards that line that I made earlier. And I'm just going to outline that for you guys so you can see where to stop. So you're just going to fill in all the way down there. You don't need to add any color when you get towards the bottom. Just because, again, the water gets lighter as you get closer to the shore. It's less condensed, so that's why it appears to be lighter. And yeah, I'm actually really liking how this is coming out. Not bad, not bad at all. We're gonna leave the clouds up here white for now, just because they are white and then we can add color to them at the end. All right. Well, that's our water. And you know, it's pretty, I think. You guys think it's pretty, I hope. Um, <laughs> And we're going to get into our sand. I'll wait and give you guys a minute to catch up if you're not there already. Add a little bit darker on the top and add some. You can just take your um, paintbrush, dip it directly into the bloom. No need to add any water. And if you want, you can add details like I am just because I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> and yeah, just adding some depth to the water really. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. If I do say so myself, I did that. Okay, now onto the sand. Okay guys, so now for the sand. Um, remember to always wash your brush when you're changing colors. But I just mixed yellow, green, and a little bit of red just to make this kind of brownish color. You can see that here for the sand because it's a little bit darker than just the yellow. And you can just add water to your brush and dip it in that little color just really lightly. And... This is going to be our sand color. See how well that looks. So just start from the bottom. And I'll show you why after. But yeah, just take that color. Keep dipping it in the water because you don't want it to be too dark brown. And just go along the bottom of your canvas. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to create one more line um, with this new color, and you're just going to make it look something like this. It's going to go right along the shore of your water. It's going to be kind of like a big squiggly line to show that the water is breaking um, off and it's connecting to sand now. And your line's going to look something like that. Just another V-line shape. And you can just fill in your sand all the way down here and leave that extra space vacant. And yeah, your sand should look something like this, guys.
Okay. And this is your final product. This is what your sand should look like, or final product, at least for the bottom half of the canvas. We're about done. Like I said, it was a really just simple activity. We're gonna go ahead and after we're, you're done with your sand, we're gonna start up on the sky and the clouds of our painting. All right, see you then. All right, your painting should look something like this. Now we're just gonna go ahead and go into the sky. You guys can do the sky any type of color. I'm honestly kind of considering doing a sunset, but that's a little too much. I don't wanna be too extra. So I'm just gonna do a blue sky. Or should I? Hmm. You know what? Let's just go for a sunset. Go big or go home, right guys? Okay, let's go for a sunset. So for a sunset, I'm gonna start on the top with a darker red and obviously add water. You just go from the top like this. I'm kind of just going to fade in to a sunset color. I, I hope I don't regret doing this red. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so that's me going in with my red. And now I think I'm gonna follow it by orange and then just a yellow and finish off with the sun. Can you guys see that? That's better. Move this out of your frame. Okay, so yes, this is what my red looks like now. I'm just adding more water to it just to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of orange. Okay. Okay, not too bad. See so guys, this is why you guys have to take risks. You know, even if you're not sure about something, try it out and you know, if you fail, you fail, you learn from it. Now, if this comes out bad, I'm just gonna know. Next time, I'm gonna have to do a blue sky. <laughs> But if it comes out good, I would have just tried something new and succeeded at it, which is, you know, a learning situation, which I feel is way more important than just having a blue sunset or a blue sky. Now I'm just trying to blend in the orange with the red, which I'm not doing a great job at, but I'll get there. So just the blend, just going to add water to your brush and go in between where the colors meet. And you're just gonna make a line just to kind of blend out two colors. Okay, not bad at all. We're kind of winning over here, guys. Okay, now that I've gone in with my orange, I'm gonna take it down a little bit lower. And I think I'm going to end off with a yellow and then do a bright, bright yellow sun at the bottom. And if, again, if I go too fast, you guys can just pause the video and go at your own pace. I don't mean to rush or anything, but, you know, I didn't want to make the video too long for you guys just in case you had anything else better to do. And yeah, so that's what the sky looks like now. I'm just gonna go in with my yellow. And finish it off. And right where you made your outline for the clouds, make sure you don't forget about those and go around the yellow on, the, on that. So this is me just outlining my clouds that I've already made just so I don't mess up the shape. And it should look something like this. I'm just gonna finish off with the yellow.
And again, guys, just take your time, you know. And okay, we're done with our sunset. Just like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and refine my lines for my clouds, just so I know where they are and I don't go over them. Make sure the sky is all blended in so it looks nice and cohesive. And just go in a bit right here. Good. And so this is what your painting should look like now. You should have the red and the orange kind of going down into the yellow, your clouds and your sand and your shore. And I'll let you know the next step in the next Okay, step. so the next step is just to take really any color and just use it to add some shape to your clouds. So I had some red left on my paintbrush, so I'm just gonna use that just to outline my clouds and add just some details here and there. And I'll show you what that looks like a close up after. Um, I'm just adding again little semicircles to the clouds just to make the shape more defined. And yeah, it should look something like this. And again, you guys can use any color. I'm just using the color that was left on my paintbrush just so I'm not wasteful. And yeah, just small semicircles, just adding some shadows, some depth. Take a little bit more of that red. Make sure it's not too dark of a color so it doesn't... Um, like stand out as much, but you know, y'all know what I mean. Okay. And that's about it. So your cloud should look something like this. Again, just adding some shadows to it, just so you know it's visible clouds. And now we're gonna go ahead and do our last step, which is our leaves. All right, guys. So this is our last step, and I already kind of went out and put a little example for you. Um, so you're just going to draw three lines going down towards the center of your painting and these are going to be the leaves um, and they're kind of just going to go on the top of the clouds and this one's just going to go through the sunset and after that we're just going to be making the little leaves on them. So again just you can just define these lines if you'd like to which I'm allowed to do. And for the leaves on them, you're just going to be making lines going on either side of the actual main line. So I'll show you what that looks like now. And it's just going to be like this, really simple. And I'll make that a bit darker for you guys so you can see.
and your leaves should look something like this. And you can just continue to do that to the other two leaves. So this is what it looks like when you guys go ahead and finish your leaves. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some birds. So for the birds, I'm just going to take my black, dip it in the water a little bit, but I want it a little dark. And wherever you see fit, just add two half circles. I'll show you what I mean by that. Here I messed up on the sky a bit, so I'm just going to add a bird here. And that's what your bird should look like. And I'll add one more near the sunset, right here. Darken them a little bit. Maybe one more. Mm, maybe one more. Small one. And that's it, guys. We're all done with our paintings. I think it came out pretty darn good. Your final product should look something like this. I went ahead and just signed my initials at the bottom. You guys can date it or sign it, but this is it guys. Thank you so much for joining again and I hope to see you next week in our next activity.